When you have a rare diagnosis, you really are grasping at straws as to what to do. In today's It Takes a Village, we're putting a spotlight on a rare genetic disorder, one that consumes a family and one that doesn't get nearly enough attention medically because of how rare it is. That is the Fisher's reality. Their village works tirelessly to continue fighting for trials and funding. People with Prader-Willi syndrome are so severely hungry that they the hunger never really turns off. That diagnosis was a tough one for the Fisher family. Their firstborn, Jude, was diagnosed with Prader-Willi syndrome or PWS shortly after birth. It's a rare genetic condition that affects one in 15,000. It's gutting, to be honest with you. It's really heartbreaking. PWS comes with a long list of complications. The biggest is hunger. The part of the brain that tells you you're full doesn't work, so Jude always feels like he's starving. I can't tell you how many times I had to do the Heimlich maneuver because he would steal and eat food as quickly as possible and choke. That's why in the Fisher's home, no food is ever left out and everything has a lock on it. Honestly, for our kids, Corey, it's, it's like reassurance for them. There's no hope. Jude has been part of a clinical trial for three years now, and in easy medical terms, it makes it so he can control his hunger. What is the difference that you see now versus before he was on that clinical trial? It's remarkable. He used to have substantial meltdowns when no was heard, but we are doing better because of the treatment. That trial may not last forever. You just like spray it. Recently, it didn't pass a major hurdle at the FDA level. So it's a fear that keeps Rachel up at night. I don't know what we're gonna do. I read an article recently that said the average age of mortality is 21. I know of three families recently within the last six months who've lost their children due to complications with Prader-Willi syndrome. Oh, it's such a sad disease. Right now, Jude can continue the trial drug, but how long he can stay on it and if others who are newly diagnosed can even try it, that's kind of uncertain. We will continue to follow Jude's story and update you if there is any changes. And once again, join our village on Facebook. Just search for It Takes a Village and join in on the conversation.